Gambit has the most maps played out of any top 20 teams on Ancient. With the map being picked 6 times during 6 different series, there has to be a reason why Gambit likes to play Ancient so much. Hey, I'm Smokey and today I want to have a look at Gambit and how they default and execute on the T side of Ancient, so let's begin. It's also worth noting I'm going to be using this screenshot for my callouts. The link to these callouts can be seen in the link in the description. Gambit will come and play a 1-1-3 at the start of the round. At the start of the round, Inter is going to smock off Secret and he's going to molly Xbox last window. He does this because he wants to prevent any CT players from pushing from mid into Xbox down into B. Meanwhile, Axel is going to go towards outside A, he's going to molly A main and he's going to hold for any pushes. Meanwhile, Hobbit, Nafni and Shiro will prevent any pushes from B. Hobbit will throw a smock or a molly into ramp to prevent any pushes. When Inter's mollies goes out on Xbox, Nafni will re-molly it. Generally the default for Gamba is that they want to get the map control, wants to make sure that no one's going to push. Nafni will then make a call to either hit A or B and the team will rotate to whatever Nafni wants to do. Let me show you the players POVs and how they default. At the start of the round, Axel will come towards outside, he's going to molly A main and he's going to wait for any pushes. When he feels comfortable, he'll go towards mid and prevent anyone from pushing into Xbox. Inter's responsibility is to smoke off secret and then molly Xbox. Once he's done this, he's going to go towards C, he's going to wait for any pushes from mid or A, and he's going to wait for calls from Nafne. Shiro's default role on the T-side of Ancient seems quite a bit supportive. Shiro's going to be outside B and he's going to be jump peeking the smoke to see if he can get any info from ramp. Once again the CTs have smoked off door, so Shiro tries to jump peek, he can't see any gaps, so he has some flashbangs ready just in case the CTs push. There's no set lineup for this, he'll just throw him. When Hobbit's going towards ramp, he'll either smoke it off or he will molly it. In this round, we can see he's going to come over, he's going to smoke off ramp, and he's going to get boosted by Nafne. He checks the smoke to make sure no one's going to push, then he's forced to fall off due to the molly. In this round, Hobbit's going to throw the same smoke with a flashbang, and Nafne is actually going to get into this corner, and he's going to wait for any pushes. Because of this, he's able to get a kill onto Boomich. Once again, Hobbit's coming towards B, he's going to molly top ramp, and he's going to wait for any pushes. He will then grenade Xbox just in case if anyone did push, they'll get grenaded. If we look at the positions that Hobbit and Nafni are playing, we can see Hobbit's holding the smoke while Nafni's holding ramp. In this way they have each of his backs, and if there was pressure towards ramp, Hobbit can easy swing and help him, and vice versa on secret. When Nafni's going towards banana, he'll make sure that no CTs can push ramp, so he'll keep an eye on it, and then when needed, he'll re-molly Xbox. Once they got this piece of control, Nafni's team is going to fall off and they're going to head towards A for an execute. When the CTs are on a gun round, Nafni will smoke any Molotovs that land on white. This will allow Nafni to have more room since he's able to hide in white and he can use the smoke as cover just in case the CTs push from secret. He will then re-Molotov window. Generally, Gambit will only take secret control if they want to deny info from the CT side or they need to use it for a B execute. Let me show you some of the ways that Gambit can take secret control. Nafni and Hobbit are going to work together. Nafni is going to flash into secret, while Hobbit's going to molly dig. When the flash goes off, Nafni will jump past the angle to see if anyone's in there, and he'll go towards mid. In this round, we can see secret is smoked off. Nafni is going to molly and nade dig. This is to make sure that no CTs are hiding there. However, I think it's better if Nafni did this a bit later, when the smoke is fading, just so we can catch the CTs crossing back.
Whenever Gambit is going to execute onto a site, on A they have a full exec and a mid round exec, and on B they have a short exec, they have a long exec, and they have a contact exec. Before Gambit does any execute, they will always do a default and then they will later execute. In this round, we can see Inters is going to do his default, but then go towards mid with Exile, cross mid, and then go towards B where Gambit will get ready to execute. When Gambit are going to do their short exec, they're going to smoke off short and they're going to molly V2. Let me show you the plays POVs on rolls. In this execute, Axel's role is to create some space. So what he's going to do, he's going to rush into the site. He's going to clear V1 and 2 and then he'll push towards long and will lock it down. Shiro's role is to smoke off short and then he'll push into the site with his teammates. Then he'll hold everyone's back from ramp. Inter's, is gonna, Inter's role is to push up ramp, he's going to wait towards the top of ramp and he's going to wait for any Y peaks on wood while Hobbit clears it. Once it's safe, he'll plant the bomb. Nathanie's role in this execute is to be a lurker, so what he's going to do, he's going to get secret control, he's going to clear cave, We'll smoke off the cave entrance, then we'll hold everyone's back from dig. Now for the long execute on B, they're going to smoke off long and they're going to molly V1. Once they've done this, they'll get a flash into the site and then they'll push in. Intus is going to nade into the smoke, then he'll push into the site. Axile will die entering, however he'll get both the kills on B. Shiro is going to be doing the utility, so he's going to go towards scaffolding, he's going to stand towards here, and he's going to smoke off long, and he's going to molly V1. He will then come towards ramp, and then flash into the site, and then push him with his teammates. Nathan is going to have a similar roll to the short exec, except this time he's going to be smoked off. He'll then push through the smoke to see if he can catch anyone by surprise. Now for the contact execute, Gambit is only going to use one flash. They're going to sandly push up ramp, they're going to wait for any kills. Once they get a kill, they're going to accelerate and then get the bomb down. If we look at the guns real quick on Narvi, we can see they're all on pistols. Meanwhile, Gambit have full rifles, so it's actually a good idea to do a contact just because then you get to have the range advantage. We can see Gambit's going to have an easy fine long, wood and short, just because of their weapons. However, if Gambit decided to smoke everything off, this will give the CTs more room to group up and then push into the site together. Shiro's going to be holding towards long, he'll drop the bomb, then he'll hold towards wood. When his team is pushing into the site, he'll push in with him and watch short. Inters is going to go up the ramp slowly, he's going to wait for any rotations, any jiggle peaks, he'll catch electronic off guard and then he'll accelerate onto the site. Yeah, 
Axel is going to have a flash ready. When his teammates get a kill, he's going to flash the site and help him push in. He'll then go up construction to watch everyone's back. He'll get a kill onto Boomich, however he'll die to Perfecto in secret. Now for the executes. For a full execute, Gambit's going to use two smokes and two molotovs and a lot of flashbangs. They're going to smoke Temple and Street and they're going to molly plat and triple. The Gambit players will then run out of main, clear the site and get the bomb down. Meanwhile, the Hobbit's going to flank CT from B to help win the round. Axel is going to entry frag this round, so what he's going to do, he's going to smoke off Temple, he's going to swing out, and he's going to kill Bit, who is on Ding. Now for Shiro. Shiro is going to smoke off Red on mid. He does this because he wants to bait rotations and make it easier for Gambit to get onto the site. Once Gambit is going to push out, he's going to molly plat, he's going to get boosted, and he will die to Simple and Temple who is using Axel's smoke as a one way. Now for Inters. Inters are going to throw a flash into the stairs area, nade back site and then push in. He will boost Shiro up, then plant the bomb. Ok so now on to Nafini. Nafini is going to smoke off street, he's going to group up with his gambit players, he will molly triple, he will push out, and he will play close to temple watching donut. Whenever Gambit do an AX skew, they always have a lurker no matter what. In this round, it's going to be a Hobbit who's going to be lurking. He's going to look from B, into Red, into CT. Because of this lurk, he's left in a 1v2 against Simple and Perfecto, and because the bomb is planted for him, he can hold it from CT and he actually manages to win the round with good patience. Ok so now onto the Lord Util exec. Gambit's going to Molotov Temple and Smoke off Sight. The Molotov will miss, however the smoke will land and they will manage to get the bomb down. But unfortunately we'll lose the round, due to not having enough members left and not having a lot of space. Nafani will try and lurk and flank the CTs, however he's only good for one. Let me show you the player's POVs. Shiro's going to be doing all of the utility in this round, so what he's going to do, he's going to flash Sight, he's going to try to Molotov Temple but we'll miss it and it will smoke off sight. He's going to cover Hobbit by holding Temple while Hobbit's planting. Inters are going to swing out and die to CT and Hobbit will hide behind the box until the utility lands. Once the utility lands, he'll be able to plant the bomb. Once again we're going to have a Loka and this time it's going to be Nefany. Nefany is going to move towards B. He's going to creep up towards Red. He's going to wait for quite a bit. He will push into House. However he will get caught so he's going to take Electronic with him before he dies.
Let me show you some of the utility that Gambit will use in spawn. The first one is the secret smoke. If you pull your back towards this rock, aim here, walk and jump forward once you hit this part of the wall. This should land in secret allowing your B players to cross without any issues. Tomato of Xbox, come towards this part of the sign. Aim at this yellow part of the flower. Run and jump for once you hit the middle of this tree. Now for utility on B, for the ramp smoke that Hobbit uses, when you're coming towards the door, aim towards the left of the circle thing above the door. When you throw the smoke, you want to make sure that it hits this part of the wall. You want to do this just because then the smoke will land perfectly every time. You can then combine the smoke with a flash just to make sure that no CTs push, and you can also get into this corner like Nafani did. To Molotov V2, come next to this box, put your crosshair above these leaves, and left click throw. This should land pretty deep and cover V2. To smoke long and molly v1, come towards scaffolding, put your crosshair towards this part of the floor. Aim above these leaves for the long smoke and left click throw. Once you find the smoke, wait a few seconds, and then for the molotov, put your crosshair above this wooden post, then left click throw. This is a really good combo as any CDs had in there will be forced to fight you or forced to fall back while taking damage. To smoke off short, come towards this door. Aim at this leaf, and then left click throw. You can then combine this with a flash by standing next to this box, aiming towards here, then left click throw. To Molotov window from white, you can send it anywhere in this area. Aim at the middle of this big door, then run it and left click throw. To Vash K from scaffolding, get towards this corner. Find this orange part of the wall, aim at the top of it, and jump throw. This should create a really good pot flash that blinds any CTs that are either in dig or lamp. Smoke street, come outside A, get towards this corner, crouch and put your crosshair towards this part of the rock, and then jump throw. For the Molotovs, you can Molotov plant just by doing a simple run throw, Molotov triple, aim above temple, and then run and left click throw, making any CTs playing behind there forced to fight you. The smoke temple form main safely, come out main, aim towards here, and run and left click throw. It's worth noting that this may leave a gap towards the right side of temple, however you should be able to safely plant. Flashbang site, you simply just run and left click throw towards the stairs area. This flash should cover all of the site. You can also throw a flashbang through the roof like this, the simple run and left click throw. To smoke red from Z, come towards this corner, line yourself up with the ivy in the top left, aim towards this part of the wall, then jump throw. After watching two of Gambit's demos, 50% of the time they executed onto the A bomb site and 50% of the time they executed onto the B bomb site. We're only rushing the B bomb site twice, unlike the A bomb site where they rush it zero times. If you like this video, feel free to subscribe to my channel and check out my Twitter, as I'm posting some exclusive videos there. Perhaps you want to know how to execute the A bomb site mid round or like heroic? That tweet can be seen in the description with a lot more videos. Thanks for watching, see you in a bit.